squalls of rain keep coming and then they disappear and then it gets still and calm and all we can hear is little waterfalls and the birds every corner we paddle around there's something else to see Time for a snack. One mile to go. How you feeling, Joe? Superb. Great big head. Yeah. Got past the baguette, no problems. Yeah. These little white flowers that we see all the way up the Gordon are leatherwood, which is what the bees make our lovely leatherwood honey from. Here we are, the mouth of the Franklin. This is just a little island right at the mouth here, uh, which we'll stop on and uh, have some cucumber sandwiches. We made it. Whew. There we are. Good job. This is the Franklin up here. That's the Gordon, that's up river, and that's the Gordon down river down that way. Joe and I have decided that we're going to try and kayak up the Franklin as far as we can until it gets too hard, but we thought we'd give this bit a miss. We'll come down it okay, but I don't particularly want to try and paddle up that, so what we're going to do is portage over that section into this still water and then we'll, we'll kayak up as far as we can probably only get 100 meters or so and then we'll zoom zoom back let's go who would have thought that's see a, a hobie lynx white watering down the franklin crazy Most people come down, not up. This is why. <laughs> How you going there? Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, uh, yeah, come on baby. Come on. Nah. Nah. Can't do it. <laughs> nah. That might be it. <laughs> nah. Might be able to get up that side. I'll try I'll try going up this side. No can do. <laughs> Not in this.
a little bit wet out there. <laughs> but not in here. What have we got here, Joe? Biscuits, dip, meats, and chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup? Mm. Yum. It's the middle of the night. And there's lots of little creatures running around on deck. <laughs> I'm going to go out and see if I can see them. They must be, they must be coming in out of the water because they're not on, they're not running up there. You'd see them running up there. So we've just uh, been listening to the weather report and the day after there's a bit of a front coming through so what we're going to try and do get all the way back down the Gordon and across Macquarie Harbour back into Strawn in one day. Oh my goodness, another beautiful morning. We're going to leave the Gordon today. And we thought we should have muesli to help us move through all of those dried cured meats and the beef we had for dinner. <laughs> We're all packed up, ready to start heading back down the Gordon. Before we go, we thought we might go for a walk up to St John's Falls, say goodbye.
surf the Gordon River. There's the channel markers straight ahead. Uh, and in the distance you can see the tourist boat and directly behind that is Sarah Island. So we've just exited the Gordon. Here's Sarah Island. Now, we'll go on the inside of Sarah Island and hopefully there will be enough breeze that we can just sail back in the storm. We'll see how we go. And out here is Gromit Island. And then we've got Halliday's Island just there, that little rock, Sarah Island, Gromit Island, Halliday's Island, and here we are here in Macquarie Harbour, and from Macquarie Harbour up to Storm, it's about 16 nautical miles, so we may get a little bit of a sail in today, wind's picked up, but it is still going to be on the nose. Place of banishment and security for the worst description of convicts. Lieutenant Governor Sorrell, 1820. Welcome to Tasmania's oldest and most remote convict settlement for repeat offenders. From 1822 to 1833, this was the most feared place of banishment for the colony's worst criminals. Yet despite this reputation, it became the most productive shipbuilding yard in Australia in its time. Look at this escapes, 180 escaped attempts. Most were unsuccessful, resulting in recapture or death. This is the fate of some by boat. Overland. Jeez, a lot of cannibalism. Successful. These poor fellas had to come back, they were recaptured. This is what they did. This is the old penitentiary. New penitentiary. It's much newer. Bakehouse. This is a solitary confinement jail. Where the naughty little boys go. This is the servants' quarters and kitchen. What a beautiful spot. Grab some lunch and then we'll start heading up the strawn.
That was Sarah Island. So it's a little bit tricky getting out of here because you've got a reef coming out here to the left. And then on the right, this side of Sarah Island, there's another reef coming in. You can see it on the, the chart here. So we've still got 21 feet of water under us. We should be right now. Slowly making our way over Macquarie Harbour. Beating into probably about five knots. So. Probably only doing about three or four knots. And we've got to head up into there. At the moment, we're going that way. And we want to go that way. So we've got a few hours left. Happy place. Any good? No. <laughs> A little bit different to the day we came out. I was just thinking about that pot of dolphins. Gonna... They might come back. Take us back in. This is such a wild ride. This is daylight. I've got to lure out. See if we can't catch a fish on the way back. Good job. Good job. Home again, home again. Jiggity jog. All right, let's get you on the trailer. We had elixir all packed up in no time and then made our way to a hotel we had booked in Strawn Village. The next morning we were lucky enough to have breakfast with the creator of those beautifully drawn charts we used for the trip, Trevor Norton. It was a privilege to spend time with him. Few have more experience on the Gordon than Trevor. And if you're considering a similar trip, then you should contact him. After breakfast, we had a quick walk around the waterfront before hitting the long and winding road back to our home in Hobart. Thanks again for watching another Small Craft Tasmania episode. Our next instalment will feature our restoration and launching of a beautiful John Wellsford penguin called Little Wind. Ben and I will sail her 40 nautical miles from just north of Hobart to Port Signet, with an overnight stop at one of our favourite locations off Bruny Island. I'm Matt, and until then, stay salty. Okay.
for watching Small Craft Tasmania. Make sure you click subscribe. There's lots more content to come.